Hello, my name is Jen Kimmel, and I'm here with Pastor Jason Cisprovincio at United Church of Christ Congregational in San Luis Obispo. Today is Transgender Day of Remembrance. In 1999, transgender advocate Gwendolyn Ann Smith started Transgender Day of Remembrance as a vigil to honor the memory of her friend Rita Hester, a transgender woman who was killed in 1998. This vigil commemorates all the transgender people lost to violence this year. Transgender Day of Remembrance seeks to highlight the losses we face due to anti-transgender bigotry and violence. I am no stranger to the need to fight for our rights and the right to simply exist first, is first and foremost. With so many seeking to erase the transgender people, sometimes in the most brutal ways possible, it is vitally important that those we lose are remembered and that we continue to fight for justice. Transgender Day of Remembrance founder Gwendolyn Ann Smith. Pray with me. Loving God, creator of us all, bless those who are in our hearts on this day of remembrance, named or unnamed, of every age, race, faith, and gender experience whose lives were stolen by violence. We pray in your grace there is now comfort, there is now love, and there is now peace. Bless those who survive and continue to see a new day rise in the rays of our warming sun. And bless every beautiful gender of your creation. Bless us in all our different lives and experiences. We know your image is abundant and refuses any limit or constraint that says there is only one right way to be. We know in you the possibilities are endless, and in each and every person there are holy sparks of life. Bless our scars, both physical and emotional, for we know they not only bear witness of our pain and trauma, they also draw the body maps of our healing, of something forever changed, something that carries wisdom and resilience. Bless the courage of our hearts here today and move in us as we resolve to root out injustice, ignorance, cruelty, and despair. Move in us as mercy that opens us up to compassion and forgiveness. Move in us as hope that lets our minds and hands work for reconciliation and restoration of love to one another and abundant life for all. Bless us as we carry today and every day this legacy of love and hope for those who have died, for those who still live, and as the sweet justice for children yet unborn. For this we pray. Amen. I will now read the names. Asia Janae Foster, age 22, Houston, Texas, died 20th of November, 2020. Asia was found in the street with multiple gunshot wounds. Asia was a Houston native. She worked at a local business and had been involved in job corps. She liked racing, themed video games. Her social media is filled with the ups and downs the joys and angst of any American young 20-something. Kimberly Susan Fial, age 55, San Jose, California, died 22nd of November, 2020. Kimberly was one of five stabbed in an attack at a shelter where she volunteered. Two women, including Kimberly, died from their injuries. Ms. Fial arrived at Grace Baptist Church as a shelter guest in the middle of the year, and almost as soon as she got there, she started pitching in to help staff however she could, said the shelter manager. 
Anthony Mastrocola. That included helping make, serve, and serve dinner, passing out coffee in the morning, and running the shelter shower arrangements. Shay Misha, Mishia Sims, also known as Shay Shay, age 30. Richmond, Virginia, died 20, uh, 23rd of November, 2020. Shay Misha, Mishia was found by police in a crashed vehicle. She had a gunshot wound and died at the scene. Sims, who sometimes used the name Shay Shay, was close with her family and friends and often posted photos of and with them on Facebook. Her loved ones are remembering her on social media as good, kind, and caring. One friend remembered her as one of my biggest supporters. Many have expressed how much they will miss her. Courtney Ashe Key, age 25, Chicago, Illinois, died to 25th of December, 2020. Courtney was found unresponsive on the side of the street after being shot on Christmas Day. She died at the scene. Her social media feeds are filled with the exuberance and lively content you expect from a 20-something young woman. Now they are filled with the grief of her friends. One of her last posts was a shout out to her friend Bella, another black trans woman who had died under mysterious circumstances in August 2020. Alexandria Winchester, age 24, the Bronx, New York, died 26th of December, 2020. Alexandria was shot dead on Boxing Day, Three days later, Marquise Tanner, 30, was arrested and charged with murder. Tiana Dabaria Alexander, age 28, Chicago, Illinois, died 6th of January, 2021. Tiana was one of two people shot and killed by a gunman in a vehicle at around 5 a.m. Samuel Edmund Damien Valentin, Trajillo Alto, Puerto Rico, died 9th of January, 2021. Samuel's body was discovered after a motorist hit an object on the PR 181 highway. When she got out of the car, she found his body with multiple gunshot wounds. Bianca Banks a.k.a. Muffin. Atlanta, Georgia, died 17th of January, 2021. Bianca died in what appears to have been a murder-suicide in her apartment. Muffin was blossoming into herself. She had recently begun her medical transition in November. Her hope, according to Africa, was to compete on RuPaul's Drag Race. They were supposed to compete together. Dominique Jackson, age 30, Jackson, Mississippi, died 25th of January, 2021. Dominique was found suffering from a gunshot wound after her vehicle crashed into a utility pole. She died at the scene. Our hearts are heavy as we learn of the death of Dominique Jackson, a transgender organizer, organizer who co-founded Breakout in New Orleans. Dominique was found in Jackson, Mississippi. We are holding communities in New Orleans and Jackson in our hearts today as we grieve the loss, this loss, says the Transgender Law Center. 50 Bands, age 21, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, died 28th of January, 2021. 50 was shot by her boyfriend, a man described by witness Witnesses as very volatile and who they said was not open and forthcoming about dating her. According to her social media profiles, 50 loved to dance and laugh with her friends and was self-aware about the distinction between online appearances and her private life. 
She also indicated that her birthday is this or next week, but the precise date is unclear. Alexis Braxton, Kimmy Icon, also known as Kimmy Icon Braxton, age 45, Miami, Florida, died 4th of February, 2021. Alexis's body was found in an apartment building on the night of Thursday, 4th, Thursday, the 4th of February. Miami police are investigating her death as a homicide. Kimmy was born and raised in Miami. She was living in Aventura at the time of her death. She studied it at Miami Dade College in the 1990s and has worked as a hairstylist. Her social media is lively and festive, filled with interests and relationships. China Carrillo, age 24, New Wilmington, Pennsylvania, 18th of February, 2021. China died in a hospital after being attacked in the backyard of a residential building. Police who were called to the scene shot dead her attacker. Jeffrey Wright, also known as JJ, age 16. Ambridge, Pennsylvania. Died February 21st, 2021. JJ and his non binary sibling Jasmine were both shot dead by their mother. She then called 911 and waited for the police to arrive. Jasmine Bright, also known as Jazzy, age 22, Ambridge, Pennsylvania, died 20. 21st of February, 2021. Jasmine and their trans brother were both shot dead by their mother. She then called 911 and waited for the police to arrive. After the, emerger, after the murder, it emerged that Jasmine identified as non-binary. Jenna Franks, age 34, Jackson, North Carolina, died 24th of February, 2021. Jenna's body was found in a ditch next to the creek. Jenna was involved in the Oslo County LGBTQ Plus Community Center. Director Dennis Biancozo shared some of Jenna's empathy and efforts to support other folks experiencing homelessness. Diamond Kyrie Sanders also known as Diamond Nicole, age 23, Cincinnati, Ohio, died March 3rd, 2021. Diamond was found in a parking lot suffering from a gunshot wound. She died in the hospital. Diamond studied at Ohio State University and had recently been working at Nordstrom. She had thousands of friends on Facebook, and her timeline was filled with many cute, fashionable photos. The obituary, obituary written by her family speaks volumes to her dynamic personality and how much she was loved. Her 24th birthday would have been on April, 20, April 10th. Brianna Pardo, age 26. Los Angeles, California, died 17th of March, 2021. Rayana was hit by a car driven by a drunk driver, reportedly while trying to escape people who were harassing her. Many of her friends and family believe that Rayana was pushed in front of a moving car by her then boyfriend. Chris Brandon Ruiz, age 26, Bonville, California, died 28th of March, 2021. Chris was shot dead by police in circumstances which are unclear. An attorney has called for an investigation. The officers involved have been placed on administrative leave. Chris was blessed in life with good, good solid friends over the years. He usually bonded with those that shared his love for either music or dogs. 
Some of Chris's special friends are Kira, Kazi, Anka, Brie Guzman, and Bailey Roche. They all bonded and remained close friends over the years despite distance and time. Jada Peterson, age 24, Charlotte, North Carolina, died the 4th of April, 2021. Jada was found in a hotel room in an unresponsive state on Easter Sunday. Jada had her fears about society and what society could do, but she trusted in the Lord. Dominique Blushes, age 26, Springfield, Missouri, died 8th of April, 2021. Dominique's body was found in an apartment after she had arranged to meet a man via a dating site. The death has devastated family and friends who paid tribute to Dominique Blushes on Facebook. Many don't get to live in their authentic truth, wrote a loved one. You are fierce, glam, and honey gorgeous. I love you now, tomorrow, and forever. Ernie Fennell, age 22, Charlotte, North Carolina, died 15th of April, 2021. Remy was found shot dead in a hotel room less than two weeks after Jada Peterson had been killed in another hotel room in the same city. D.R. Banks, age 24, Chicago, Illinois, died 21st of April, 2021. Tiana was shot in her vehicle at about 10.30 p.m. Natalia Smoot Lopez, age 24, San Jose, California, died 23rd of April, 2021. Natalia was murdered, allegedly, by her boyfriend. Natalia Smut was her name, and she was a firecracker. I always... I remember as a new drag queen in the area, I'd go to shows, and she always did a lip sync to whatever song was my favorite at the time. It's like she knew. The first time I put myself in drag, she told me how proud she was of me, and she hyped me up. So Santos, age 22, Houston, Texas, died 23rd of April, 2021. Irish was shot while sitting outside a Chick-fil-A restaurant at around 9.30 p.m. She died in the hospital. Tiffany Thomas, age 38, Dallas, Texas, died 24th of April, 2021. Tiffany was shot at a car wash. Carrie Washington, Bobo, also known as Bobo, age 49, Clearwater, Florida, died 1st of May, 2021. Carrie was found dead at the back of an apartment building. Little information has surfaced about Washington's life, but friends have paid tribute on her social media. Several have said she went by the nickname Bobo. Rest easy, Carrie Washington, a.k.a. Bobo. We love you, read one Facebook post. Bobo was the real deal slave queen, said another. On Washington's own Facebook page, she listed her relationship status as engaged. T. Harden, age 35, York, South Carolina, died 2nd of May, 2021. T was found in an unresponsive condition after a police officer called to her home to conduct a well-being sh check. She had been shot. Jahara Diotto Balenciaga, age 42, Boston, Massachusetts, died 2nd of May, 2021. Jaharia was one of two people the other being Fatima Yassin, stabbed in the neck by Fatima's husband. I want to s celebrate the person that was Jahar Jahaira M. Dialto Balenciaga. She was a noted trans activist that began her journey at the age of 16 in the early 19, 1990s in Boston. 
She was a noted speaker and organizer of Transgender Day of Remembrance. She later, be later became an advocate and caseworker for survivors of intimate partner violence and continued to do what she called normalizing the trans experience for tra cisgender people. She did this by helping families of trans kids come together as a family to grow. Whispering Wind Bear Spirit, age 41, York, Pennsylvania, died 3rd of May, 2021. Whispering Wind Bear Spirit was shot during an attempted robbery at their home. Sophie Vasquez, age 36, Brookhaven, Georgia, died 4th of May, 2021. Sophie was found unresponsive in her home by police officers while responding to a call that a person had been shot. Sophie Vasquez was 36 years old and was part of the ESTR community, El La, that defends the interests of the trans community in, Latin, in Atlanta so that they can achieve the recognition and access to social services that other groups enjoy. Danny Henson, age 39, Baltimore, Maryland, died 4th of May, 2021. Danny was found in an unresponsive condition by police when they responded to a call. She had been shot possibly after an altercation with someone she knew. Danny was born and raised in Baltimore, Maryland. She attended the University of Maryland. The day before her death, she posted, please pray for me. Serenity Hollis, age 24, Albany, Georgia, died 8th of May, 2021. Serenity was shot while walking along the street. Oliver Taylor, also known as Ollie, age 17. Gervais Oregon, died 19th of May, 2021. Oliver died in a hospital a week after being kidnapped and shot by an acquaintance. Poe Black, also known as Oliver Jackson, Legion, or Tommy age 21, Slab City, California, died 26th of May, 2021. Poe was two-spirit. He was reportedly stabbed and his body dumped in a canal after being sexually assaulted. During his life, he had suffered so much for the causes of justice for Native people, for Black people, for LGBT people, and anyone who needed to be stood up for. He was truly loved, and he truly loved people. He was a warrior. Casey Wilson, Washington, D.C., died 30th of May, 2021. Casey was reportedly murdered in Southeast Washington. Tierra Marie Lewis, age 36, Cleveland, Ohio, died 12th of June, 2021. Tierra Marie died in hospital from a gunshot wound. Nova Rue Watson, aka E.J. Boykin, age 23, Lynchburg, Virginia, died 14th of June, 2021. Nova died from his injuries after being found by police in a parking lot suffering from a gunshot wound. Tori Chip said she'd been friends with Boykin, who's been called Nova, or EJ, by friends since middle school. He was loved and liked by everyone, she said in a message. He was one of those people that was just good vibes and energy. Ruby Dominguez, age 29, Arlington, Texas, died 16th of July, 2021. Ruby was killed by a hit-and-run driver around 3.30 a.m. 
Taya Ashton, age 30, age 20, Suitland, Maryland, died 17th of July, 2021. Taya was shot inside her home. A man she was in a relationship with was sus subsequently arrested on charges of first and second degree murder. Shay Vanderpump, age 23. Trenton, New Jersey, died 30th of July, 2021. Shay was shot in the face while trying to defend someone. Coco Chanel Ritham, age 44, Dallas, Texas, died 7th of August, 2021. Coco was found with gunshot wounds after police responded to reports of a shooting in a homeless encampment. Pooh Johnson, Titanizer Mua Moa, age 25, Trevorport, Louisiana, died 23rd of August, 2021. Pooh was a makeup artist who, is also, who also went by the name of Titanizer Moa. She was found shot dead in a car parked behind a home in a suburban neighborhood. Zoella Rose Martinez, also known as Zoe, age 20, Seattle, Washington, died 1st of September, 2021. Zoe's body was found in an alley. She was murdered. Dicea Monet Smith, age 23, Dalton, Illinois, died 6th of September, 2021. Dicea was found in a hotel room by police reporting responding to reports of a shooting. She was pronounced dead in the hospital an hour later. Brianna Omar, Brianna, also known as Brianna Hamilton, age 25, Chicago, Illinois, died 17th of September, 2021. Brianna was shot in the head in the early hours on Friday, the 17th of September, and died in the hospital. Brianna lived in Chicago. Her social media is filled, feed is filled with affirmative self-love content, as well as observation on culture, fashion, and society. It was just like the feeds of most 25-year-olds. She shared a recent trip to Detroit and posted sadly about the death of a local young man in her community. Her vibrancy is palpable, and that makes her death from a gunshot wound to the head in the early morning of Chicago on the Chicago sidewalk so numbing. Kier Lepre Cartier, age 21, Arlington, Texas, died 30th of September, 2021. Kier was found in a, her car suffering from a gunshot wound. She died in the hospital. Royal Poetical Stars, age 26, Miami Gardens, Florida, died October 2nd, 2021. Poetical was shot inside her vehicle on the late morning of Saturday, 2nd October. As a result of police misgendering, her murder did not come to light until nearly two weeks later. Mel Robert Groves, age 25, Jackson, Mississippi, died 11th October, 2021. Mel died in the hospital soon after driving himself there after a while suffering multiple, from multiple gunshot wounds. Kiva Skander, age 34, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, died 15th of October, 2021. Kiva, Kiva's body was found in a field with a gunshot wound. Jesse Hart, 
age 42, but Banks, Oregon, died 17th of October, 2021. Jesse's body was found in the woods outside of the town of Banks on 17th October, 2021. Detectives suspect foul play and believe she died at least two weeks earlier. Joe Acker, age 26, of Boise, Idaho, died 25th of October, 2021. Joe was in the early stages of her transition. She died after confronting a gunman who attacked the shopping mall where she worked as a security guard. Her actions undoubtedly saved many lives and she is being remembered as a hero. Robert Padilla Ar Arguelles, a father who was shopping for gifts for his family, was also killed in the attack. She always stuck up for people when others were being disrespected. Gun stop. Gun calls. It said, always stood up for the right thing, even if it brought trouble. That was always something I admired about Joe. Ricky Outhuoro, aka True Starlet, age 39, Centralia, Washington, died 31st of October, 2021. Ricky was shot at least five times by her 28-year-old boyfriend. Her body was found on their sofa next to their six-year-old son who survived the attack. We will now hold a moment of silence. I would like to read God's Love is Boundless by Adam Tice. God's love is boundless. No depth and no height can plunge us in shadows or hide us from sight. No present, no future, no span is too far. God remains with us wherever we are. There is no border in closing God's love, no limit to test. No below, no above. No center to strive for, no margin to fear. Anywhere, everywhere, God is still here. People make limits and mark out an inn to name some unworthy and tainted by sin. But when we are out, love provides us a place. We have a home in God's infinite grace. I invite you to pray with me. Loving God, we remember and give thanks for all of our beloved friends, for the love and friendships they shared and the ways in which their living has been a gift to us all. Be present to those of us who are grieving. May your peace rest upon us. Be present to those of us who are angry. May the power of your love inspire and embolden us to use our anger to dismantle hate, the fear of difference, and all that incites violence. And send us out into the world with the wisdom and the guidance of your Spirit and with courage, that we may work in solidarity with one another to build your community of welcome and justice and peace for all of your children. Amen. Amen. Thank you for taking the time to join us for this vigil, and please take care.